Ford gets into the rear just a tiny bit. Christopherson backs the pack up. Timmy Hansen in between. Oh, he's got it. Niklas Gronholm's got him into turn two. Christopherson drops back to P2. Problems there. It's seen from Backer and Backer. It seems to have a bomb's gone. It just again in the middle of the pack. Dropping back. Andreas Backer had no luck at all. Gronholm leading from Christopherson. A rare mistake there for uh, Christopherson on the run into turn one. That could well be where Niklas is. Uh, Experience of doing the last couple of laps on this track in this muddy conditions has paid off for him, but that's a rare sight, isn't it? Seeing the front of that polo with mud on it. Yeah, Christopherson now has got to decide whether to go Joker immediately or follow him for a couple of laps. He's going to follow him in. Remember as well, the cooling package for the Volkswagen is completely in the front of the car. You do not want to be in traffic with it. Doesn't want to get the temperatures too high. A lot of the cars still running rear cooling. But not the Polo, you can see it runs the WRC cooling package and, and very unusual to see it in mud like this in P2. Yeah, it's not used to getting so much mud thrown in the front. We've seen some of the other cars with a, a pla bit of plastic on the, uh, on the grill to stop some of the mud going in, keep the coolant there. But Johan doesn't run one. Christopherson staying with Gronholm. I think Johan knows here. Look at that. Nudge, nudge, nudge. Gives him another push. He's pushing Gronholm sideways around here. They've got to watch out for Timmy Hansen because Timmy has joked it already and could be a danger man for them. Look at the bump as well from the gravel onto the tarmac. Gronholm hooks a wheel on the curb on the inside. Christopherson still follows into the joke that goes Timmy's yard off. So extra in P3 now getting onto the back of this train. Timmy's yard off coming from the joker. Is he covering off Timmy behind him? He is, Timmy's Yarnov's out in front of Timmy, so extra. Christopherson chasing Gronholm. Christopherson is trying to apply the pressure. He wants a physical mistake and an on-track pass. Yeah, he's trying to just give him little taps here and there just so he knows he's there, but so he can only take a little tap just to unsettle the car. Let's watch him as he comes into this head. And again, is he going to try something? Just be careful, Johan. You don't want to be caught for pushing and passing. Little nudge again, two, three nudges now. Ekstrom gives Chris Thompson a nudge from behind, but Gronholm parked them on the way in. A dab of the race from Chris Thompson on the exit. Scrabbling for grip. Gronholm doing a fantastic job here under immense pressure behind him. Absolutely great. Chris Thompson goes Joker. Johan goes into the Joker lap now. This might be to try and cover off Timmy Zianov behind. Timmy can have more exit speed on the outside. Chris Thompson, though, will take it out wide. Going to get into the apex now. He'll hold on to that slot. So Christopherson now has put a situation in place where Gronholm really has to joker to respond to him, surely. Yeah, so I think we might well see uh, Gronholm respond. Ekstrom could then stay out because he will then have the clear track in front of him. They've still got another two, three laps to go. So, uh, yeah, it's tight. All to play for still. Gronholm coming down to the bottom of that muddy hill. Ekstrom now gives him a nudge and Christopherson gives it to Ekstrom. Gronholm runs wide. Absolutely incredible pressure. 33 wins between Christopherson and Ekstrom. Gronholm's got a couple, but if he wins this one, he'll have fought so hard for it. He can't choke it now. Christopherson's too close. He's right there with him, isn't he? And uh, it's just that run down the hill. For some reason, Gronholm can't seem to keep the speed everyone else is, but he's able to keep it there. It's that thing down of lead or chase. Yeah, it's so much easier to be chasing as Ekstrom. Oh, looked up the inside. Ekstrom not quite able to get the nose of the car up there, but he's putting in some effort. I think Gronholm is really starting to feel the pressure now. He's trying to not go too far over the edge and make a mistake, but is he backing out too much? Oh, a mistake by Christophson. They've got to send Gronholm now. It's tiny. It's, it's tense. But if they don't send him now, depending how close he gets on the brake again, and Christophson's back on the back of the train. They, they are dicing with grid levels. Gronholm's got nothing through that hairpin. He's trying everything he can. If he doesn't go, Ekstrom has to. Yeah, one of them has to split the strategy. It'll make more sense for Gronholm to, because he's got more of a gap. Gronholm's going to go standard lap. He goes to the left, and he's got winning. Why didn't they split the strategy? One of them surely should have gone for it. It would have made a lot more sense, but Tim Zhanov's now catching up to the back of them a little bit when they start to concertina up. I and Hansen too. They could, they could be in risk of uh, missing out on a podium place here if they're not careful. Gronholm dropping more dirt out of the back of the Hyundai. He's still got a clear screen. He's still got Christopherson breathing down his neck. There is seven tenths of a second covering the top three here. Again, Ekstrom's onto the back bumper. Yeah, Gronholm just backing it up that little bit too much, and we're going to see some contact down here. You can guarantee it. Just watch now. Gronholm backing the car up. Shutting the door on everyone. They're all quite tidy through here this time. Gronholm again parks in the apex. Tim is Yarnov now. He's into the back of Johan. Chris Dobson is going to come down to the last corner joker for Gronholm and Ekstrom. Gronholm will go now. Ekstrom goes with him. Can they find enough traction to make this stick? It's the left-hander. Chris Dobson coming around the outside with Tim is Yarnov. Niklas Gronholm on the inside. He's got to straighten the car up. Oh, he might be able to hold on. Gronholm to the inside line. Ekstrom too. Chris Dobson trying to go around the outside. Niklas Gronholm holds on and then. Oh, Christopherson gets run wide by 
by Timmers Yarnov. That is a, the, the best win Gronov's had. That was a what a fight to hold on under such immense pressure from two legendary drivers. Gronholm gets the win at home in Finland. Round four of the World Rally Cross Championship done and dusted. Weekend to another double header here in Finland after Sweden. It's still Christophsen at the top of the table. Matthias Ekstrom taking a couple of points back off him in that final today. Niklas Kronholm up to third with the win. Timmy Hansen stays fourth. Kevin dropping to fifth. Larsen down to sixth. Timo Schada backwards into the top eight, having made it through to the final today. Markland and Timas Yarnov round out the top ten. Neil Cole is with our race winner. He withstood incredible pressure. Well done, Niklas Gronholm. No, I knew that uh, they will push in the in the tight right-hander. And after that, I knew that uh, I'm free, <laughs> like uh, just keeping the inside lines and, and uh, just accelerating on the straights, that's enough. So I was keeping it quite calm and not doing trying to do any mistakes at all. I did a few, and but uh, okay, they, not so not so big mistakes but uh, yeah i felt the pressure and and uh but it was uh, yeah just uh, basically controlling the the race once i got uh, got in the lead so yeah nice to get a win oh!